Press the attack button to attack. I'm sorry, am I going too fast for you? There are actually two attack buttons. Try using the other one on this set of guys. You see, enemy... Man, you sure do get hit a lot. You know, there's a handy dodge button you could be using to keep that pretty face of yours. Hey, see that icon? Yeah, the attack button icon that appears when you're dodging? That means you can counterattack. Yeah, hit the attack button when it shows up to hit your opponent back. By the way, counterattacks are unblockable. Now, I consider myself a fine judge of talent boy, and, well, you don't have much. But look, I'll work with you. For the next few sets of enemies, I want you to follow the instructions on your screen. Perform all the moves listed to move on. You don't want to take Remedial Thug Combat 101, do you? Then watch the list on the side of the screen and do each of those moves. Come on, I know you can do it. Not bad, not bad. Keep it up. Now the side of your screen there has the moves you need to perform in order to move on. So watch the list and do each of those moves. Hey, would you listen when I tell you something? You need to perform all the actions listed on the side of your screen in order to move on. Hey, you're getting the hang of this. That wasn't too shabby. Okay, now stop messing around. Go find out who is blowing up this building and save the day. I'll even open the door for you. You gotta take care of those bombs. Just crawl up the wall and onto the ceiling.
Oh, this icon here means that you can perform a web interaction. Hold down the web button to web this thing up. Experiment with web attacks and you might even find new ones. For instance, I hear you can spin guys around. Use the sprint button for extra speed. If I could pull down one of those pipes, I bet the water would douse the fire. Once you've jumped into the air, you can press the jump button again to double jump, otherwise known as breaking the laws of physics. But you superhero types do that all the time, so don't let jump higher by holding down the jump button longer. Get it? Higher, longer. Hold it down long enough, and you can probably leap small buildings in a single bound. I mean, you're not quite as impressive as that other guy, are you? <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure you have a lovely personality. Hey, stop with the button mashing. It ain't gonna get you what you want. Okay now, get ready. You're about to perform a heroic feat of agility and speed, but don't let it go to your head, okay? You do this stuff all the time. Just another day in the life of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Lately, things have been going my way. I got the girl, and New York finally likes me. Not that there aren't problems. Like this new guy, Eddie Brock, at the Daily Bugle. He's really starting to get on my nerves. And Harry, my best friend, won't talk to me. On top of that, new gangs have moved in and they're dividing up the city. Still, it's nothing I can't handle. One weird thing, there haven't been any big supervillains around since Doc Ock. But I have this bad feeling like the sky is gonna fall or something. And soon. Pressing the swing button will shoot out a web line that you can swing. Hey, see that little marker on the screen? That sucker is letting you know about something you ought to be interested in and go towards. Like, you can use the left stick to aim your web line. If you want to go left, push left. If you want to go right, well, you get the idea. Push the stick in the direction you want to go.
Now, if you want to go faster down the street, try boosting near the bottom of your swing arc. This will propel you forward. If you want to gain a little bit of height, try boosting near the end of your swing arc. Swinging is hard, I know, I've done it myself, but it just takes some practice and then you'll be swinging like a pro, so keep at it. Oh, and watch out for buildings. To navigate this grand old city, you can... Now, there are lots of little markers throughout the city that represent missions. You can find one yourself by looking... Once you've found a mission you'd like to try, you can push this button to mark it. Then when you leave the zoom map, an indicator will be on screen that will show you how to find that marker. Okay, that's the zoom map. It's a handy feature, so if you're not sure what to do next, remember you can look up your options. Now get out into that city and do your thing.